Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back in our video. So, I just was scrolling to the comments of my latest video and I saw this comment. If we can do a Harrison style video, so... So I thought, let's just hit the record button and try to make something in its style. So, let's open Spotify and check out his style. Let's scroll to his newest singles. Like for example, this one. I'm not loving, not wanting me. So, the breakdown is, consists of just chords. So, keep your love. And then a drop with a steady Reese kind of bass and a vocals playing. Let's check out another tune. This one's unselected, so that's basically the style we needed to make regarding the comments. Really lost breakdown. That's a dope tune. So. Let's pause it because of the copyright. So basically it consists of the Reese bass, a lead melody that kind of consists of a harp melody, really huge vocals that are really atmospheric, they really fill up the track. So let's dive into FL Studio. I think we're gonna use a vocal from the motion pack. So let's open it up. Go to the vocals and I think we're gonna use this one. You may it's kind of in a style of selected as well, so let's drop it to 124 BPM. And let's try to write some chords under it, so... It sounds like this. You make my world I didn't do serum. Spin around and round. Go to the oh, motion presets. You make my world spin. We're gonna search for that kind of Reese bass. Just like this one. Vocal says we are working in G minor. So let's try to write something in G. We're gonna start off on the root note. You make my word. Uh, for, so for the first note, I wanna make it quite a long sustained note. You make my world spin. You make my world spin. Then I wanna go down, but you make my world spin around and round. Oh I can't help it. Well yeah, basically just like this. You make my world spin around and round. So before we're gonna mix oh, it, let's straight dive into the other melodic element, the lead sound. So again just scroll to the presets of the pack. Actually, this one's inspired by Harrison. But I think we're gonna use this one. I think it also matches quite the vibe of it. It's a bit more, bit more detuned, so I wanna go for that vibe. As I said, the melody is kind of, kind of an arc melody. I want to go to this note as well. I think it's the sixth note in the scale, so. And then go to the fifth. You, you may yeah, just like this. And then just repeat it. Maybe this will work. Yeah, that's perfect. I think it will be dope if we put it, try to put it up an octave to have some more contrast between it. Yeah, that's perfect. So just duplicate it and add another note to it. I think this will be quite a dope melody. Yeah, it works perfect in the track, I think. So, something like this. You make my world I think that's a really solid foundation of the track, so... Oh, it's already sounds super dope. You so, now it's time to work some more on the mixing of both the bass and the lead sounds. So, now we're gonna dive into the mixing of the bass and the lead sound. We're gonna start off with the bass. 
So first we're gonna side chain it and add some more distortion. So for now this will be the mixing of the bass. It's really really simple mixing but I think it does the job so now we're gonna dive to the lead sounds. First some side chain. Same kind of distortion. A bit too harsh in the high end so. Let's dip it. Same for the low end. Let's see how an OTT sounds. I think it sounds dope as well, so... Now we're gonna add some more reverb. And delay. Just like this. Together, sounding like this. And with a vocal, it sounds like this. So now we're gonna dive to the drums. But first, I wanna arrange it. So this will be the breakdown. Don't deserve you. I could feel then the pre chorus. I can't help myself to stare. Oh. You then drop it move, around here. Feet, you got me hooked and when you dance move your feet, you got I think me we're gonna hooked. drop it with the focus, so we're gonna sidechain them as well. So now the drums. Let's open up the motion pack again. First the kick drum. As you can hear in the Harrison track, it's quite a it's quite a heavy kick drum with a lot of high ends. So not like this one, but yeah, more like this one, so let's use it. Then I think I only want to use an open head in the drop, so... Just like this. At least for the first part of the drop. Let's add a drum fill to it as well. Just like this. To create some more, more movement in the track, then stack it with some ambiences. Let's use this one, fit it to the tempo. It says 122 BPM in F, so let's bump it up to semitones, just like this. Of course, the volume will be really low for this one, just to have it playing in the background, side chain it. We're gonna add some stereo shaping to it as well. So now let's mix the drums. So first of all the kick. Just like this. Gain station wise. Then the head. The drum fill. Put me a little bit louder. Ambience. Vocal. Lead sounds just like this. Now we're gonna add a tonal loop to it as well. Again, just to fit it up, I think this one could work. Same for this one, just a lot of trying it out. This one could work as well instead of the first one. 
I think I want, I want to try that out first. Sounds a little bit weird, I think so. So let's see how this one sounds. Put it in key. Yeah, this works perfect. So now let's work on the second part of the drop. We're just gonna add in a lot of drums. So maybe a drum loop will do the job. Let's drop in the shaker. And the, sn and the snares. Well, this one sounds really dope. So instead of the shakers, use this one. And let's see how it sounds. Yeah, that works perfect. Snares are a little bit too loud, so. Yeah, that's way better. So we also need a clap for the second part. I think this one could work. Yeah, that's perfect. Then just mix it in. So let's add in a quick master chain now. So I just loaded in the master chain of the master video I did recently. So go to the channel and uh, check for it if you want to check it out. If you want more details about it. So that will be it for the drop. Well, I only want to add some more FX to it. So I'll be right back when I edit in FX. So I just added in these effects. Just downlifts at the start of the drop twice. Uplifter. And just a quick build up loop. And we say it's that animated a low cut on the master channel to get rid of the low end. Halfway to drop. And in the build up. So now we're gonna work on the build up. First, let's drop in the release base. We're gonna automate the lead sound as well with a filter. So. Add this love filter to it, create animation clip. Just like this. Kind of so I think we only need to add some chords to it. I think we'll be using some string sounds, so let's open the Labs plugin. It's actually a free plugin with some really dope sounds. Piano is quite good as well, so let's turn this into chords. So I just turned the bass into chords. Just simple triads. Nothing too special. That's how the piano sounds. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's add another layer to it. For well, them, with some string sounds. Something like this. Now we're gonna mix it. First piano, got rid of the low end. Just like this, OCT. Quite a bit of reverb. Delay. And 
and some more compression just like this let's copy the chain over to the strings just like this so let's see how it sounds in the track that's perfect so I think that will be it for the build up as well basically I think we covered all the elements of the Harrison style drop I think it turned out really dope I really like it I really like what we did in like 20 minutes so I hope you like it too leave a comment what you think about it Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. We're gonna listen to the final result right now, and I'll see y'all in the next videos.